Sognefjordane. My name is Katrina and I'm coming to you from beautiful Sognefjordane in Norway. Uh, it's been uh, two weeks since my last podcast and that's because I've been feeling a bit under the weather lately. Uh, I actually haven't had a cold in almost two years so it really bummed me out to get a cold this year. So today I'm drinking uh, some uh, um, orange chili tea and I also added some dried uh, dandelion roots uh, to make me feel better and I'm drinking out of my unicorn cup <coughs> um, I do have a lot of finished objects <laughs> uh, today uh, the first one is a sweater uh, it was actually a UFO uh, that's been hibernating since uh, January, I think. Uh, this is a Dr. Skappel uh, design with uh, the um, sail blue rose. And it's got big fluffy arms. And it also has a split hem. It's um, a nice, warm, oversized sweater and I really I'm really happy about uh, how it turned out and when I put it down I was actually up to here just started the color work and then I just I don't know what happened I just got sick of the pattern I think so it was such an instant gratification when I picked it up and a couple of hours then it was done <coughs> uh, I also finished uh, my Harmonious Everyday Socks uh, I'm wearing them so it would be kind of weird to put my foot in front of the camera to show you but <laughs> I'll insert a picture at the end of the video. Um. <laughs> my love is sitting on the couch laughing <laughs> and sticking his foot up in the air. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <coughs> My next finished object. Da -da -da -da! My Marvel Magic. And it occurred to me after I posted the last video that when I was talking about um, <coughs> the uh, brioche section, I was actually showing you this one. This isn't brioche. Uh, I was a bit tired. <laughs> um, here is the brioche, but I'm sure you noticed that I showed you the wrong section while I was talking about it. <clears throat> it was a bit overwhelming to do the eye cord bind up uh, on 750 uh, stitches, but I'm so glad I did because it looks amazing. Uh, so. I'll try to show you. <laughs> it's huge. Okay, I have no idea if you can see all of it, but I'll try. <coughs> and I'm. Oh! <laughs> Things are falling down. Um, I'm sitting at my kitchen table. Uh, because it's better lighting here. It's dark outside as it is normally at this time of year. <coughs> uh, we don't have a lot of daylight right now. It's getting dark earlier every day. Um, so lighting will probably be a challenge um, this time of year. I also have made Cute little baby socks. Um, I'm not expecting, <laughs> um, but I just wanted to use some scrap yarn, and I thought baby socks would be the perfect uh, small project. But I will definitely save it, uh, save the socks until we decide to have a baby one time. <clears throat> um, I did a twisted rib. I don't know if you can see. I never done a twisted rib before, so I thought I wanted to try. And also did some small cables. 
and for the first time I did a slip stitch heel and it turned out amazing I think um, I don't know the yarn I used uh, it's a mystery yarn from my stash some leftovers I think I asked my grandmother for leftovers because I'm uh, working on a memory blanket <coughs> and so I got a big bag of yarn <laughs> I haven't used all of it yet in my blanket but some of the skeins were quite big it looked like only 10 20 grams have been used so I trying to find projects to use all of it <coughs> um, I have also made socks for my love uh, this is um, vanilla latte socks I think it's called I don't remember the design name but it's in my Ravelry page uh, it's almost a vanilla sock but it's got this uh, little broken rib going down <coughs> As I did Kitchener toe <laughs> the toe is a bit square I didn't decrease enough but they fit uh, I need this out of um, Celia Sock from Yestal and by the way my sweater is uh, also Yestal uh, that was my son in the background. He has gone to bed, but he was thirsty. <coughs> I have also been working on. <laughs> I've been working on uh, a design. I have not written, finished writing the pattern yet, but I will do very soon, and then I'll be looking for test knitters. Um, it's for uh, these socks with a. Um, I don't know what the stitch is called, but it's uh, like a faux cable. And uh, on this I did a fish lips kiss heel. Uh, that won't be in the pattern because I don't have the rights to use that in a pattern. But I will link to it and I will <coughs> either be writing the pattern for a short row heel or a heel flap and gusset. I haven't decided yet. Um, and I, I'll have to figure it out. And I was, I'm really happy with how they turned out. <coughs> so if anyone wants to test knit, uh, feel free to contact me, uh, either on uh, YouTube or on Ravelry. Uh, my Ravelry username is uh, Katska Nitti. I will link down below. <coughs> uh, and these socks I will give to my mother um, for a birthday in October. So, uh, two birds in a stone. <laughs> a new design and a gift. And that's great. <coughs> um, and another finished object. Uh, mittens. Uh, my own design. I <coughs> have not written the pattern because it's really just a standard mitten and with I taught myself or no well I didn't YouTube taught me <laughs> how to do a Latvian braid so I have a Latvian braid here and here and then I um, used is it called duplicate stitch and embroidered Reiki symbol on the mittens Shukurai and uh, this was also a scrap yarn project. I am working on downsizing my stash major. So <coughs> I've been using all the scraps, picking up UFOs and just <coughs> trying to use what I have. <coughs> and let's see. Another finished project is not knitting actually uh, I made this <coughs> I we went to um, a flea market and <coughs> I had been talking to Thomas about how I want to learn how to cross stitch and on the flea market we found um, 
what's it called, this embroidery um, fabric and also thread so I bought it and I got some hoops and I made this and the quote is actually from Monty Python and I really like it I um, make tea not war I have also started another one a little bee and my stitching is by no means perfect I have a lot to learn <laughs> But I'm, I think it's going to turn out great. I'm really happy with it so far. And so that brings us to works in progress. Um, let's see. I got this bag that I made recently. Um, I wasn't really feeling in my knitting mojo. So that's why I started to... Um, uh, use some of my stash and scrap yarn and just trying to uh, get my mojo bag and I also back and I also made this uh, project bag and it helped um, I did however mess up the bottom because I didn't line up the seams properly so note to self remember to line up the seams and in my bag I have, um, what's it called, uh, uh, um, Snowfall Socks by Tabitha Gandhi, 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 I don't know how to pronounce it, um, she is uh, one of the hosts of Hey Sister podcast, uh, I really recommend you to check them out. Um, the pattern don't show up very well, but Oh, you can actually see it. Um, it's quite a busy yarn, so the subtle pattern gets kind of lost unless you get the right lighting on it. Uh, I, I haven't worked a whole lot on them because I've been so busy casting on <laughs> all the things at once. Um, and the yarn I'm using, it's um, actually my own hand-dyed. Um, in the Dugfrisk uh, colorway, uh, which actually is the same, um, my sweater has the same name actually. <coughs> I didn't realize it when I named the yarn that uh, the sweater that was in my UFO box <laughs> was called uh, Dugfrisk as well, but that's kind of fun. Um, I have bought some yarn to dye up and sell. I haven't dyed it yet, but I will show you. It's actually right behind me. Um, this is uh, Hillesvog Ask. This will be the yarn that I'm going to dye and sell in my uh, uh, Facebook shop. I don't know yet if it will be <coughs> um, uploaded in my Etsy because I haven't decided if I'm going to keep that shop open or close it down. I'll have to think about it. It's still in vacation. I'm sorry, I can't talk today. <laughs> Somehow, <laughs> for some reason, my English gets really bad in front of the camera. And I'm not, as you know, I'm Norwegian, so it's not my native language. But somehow it gets really bad in front of the camera. Um, okay, where was I? Yeah, I'm not sure if my Etsy will still be open or I will close it down. But this will be the yarn that I'm going to dye and sell. And it's 100%... Um, Norwegian wool, non superwash. Uh, I'm trying to. I have a lot of superwash in my stash, but I don't think I will be buying it anymore because <coughs> the process of uh, superwash um, treating the yarn is really bad for the environment, and even though they are working on getting more environmentally friendly, uh, when you wash it, it leaves microplastic that goes out in the ocean and I don't like that so I'll try to stay away from superwash yarns from now on um, I don't know when this will come in my shop because I'm still not feeling quite well but hopefully I'll be better soon 
I'm getting better. I can feel that, but <clears throat> I don't know when I have the energy to die up the yarn. <coughs> um, I have some more whips. Uh, actually, another UFO from. Uh, oh, I was looking through my Instagram to fi figure out when I started, but I think it was in last December right after christmas or the christmas time this is dog socks uh, by let's see Juri Lindvik and i was actually right here two days ago when i picked it up and so i've been knitting up to here almost finished with one sock um it's going to be an afterthought heel and I'm really looking forward to finish this. Um, I'm not <laughs> really good at color work. It's uh, I think it takes a little bit too long to do. But <coughs> I have this. Uh, this one I made myself. So I put it on my finger, put the yarn through, and it separates it. Um, I made it from some copper wire. Uh, I did. My mother gave me this uh, that she bought, but it was too big, so it keeps spinning around on my finger. And so I made one myself. I used. Um, I don't remember. I think I wrapped the wire around the lid of a um, nail polish uh, bottle because it fits my finger perfectly. Um, and so it's a bit easier that way. <coughs> and apparently I have a lot of whips <laughs> at the moment, but honestly, who doesn't? Everyone does. Um, this is uh, a uh, asymmetrical triangle shawl. Um, let's see. I am about halfway. Um, yesterday I did knit. Ah, where's my marker? <laughs> yes, okay. Yesterday I knit from here up to here. And today I only done two rows. Um, the yarn I'm using. Is um, I think it's called Crazy Wool Cookie from uh, Three Single Garn. Uh, it's leftover from a sweater that I made last winter. Uh, I don't think you can get that yarn anymore. It was discontinued shortly after it came out. I don't know why. Um, <coughs> but it's it's really soft. It's wool and acrylic blend, and has lovely colors. And uh, it's such an addictive knit because you just you have to get to the next color the next color the next color <laughs> and uh, I'm really enjoying it um, <coughs> so I don't think I had any more whips that I can think of <coughs> so let's go to angel card for today and today is uh, self-acceptance and I think that's something that we all struggle with from time to time. Uh, it's hard to accept, accept oneself, but I think that is something that we should focus on um, every single day. And no one is perfect. Uh, or everyone is perfect with their imperfections. Uh, learn to accept yourself, accept your... Uh, qualities and also the things about you that you don't think are that great uh, accept um, accept yourself accept your faults uh, love yourself because you can't accept your problems you can't um, 
change or fix a problem unless you accept it first. Mm -hmm. So practice self-acceptance. Um, and it's not easy. I know it's not easy. It's really hard sometimes. But I promise, it will help. So whatever you're struggling with, you just have to accept uh, yourself, accept your feelings, your thoughts, accept uh, also the people around you. <coughs> and if no one else accepts who you are, then at least you should do. Because if you don't, who will? And other people will also accept you once you accept yourself. So that's the angel message for today. And I see you again uh, soon. I hope it won't be two weeks till next time, but uh, probably within about a week or so. Bye.